welcome to dental classes today we shall discuss the caries activity test the swab test okay the swab test was given by granger et al in 1965 now what's important about this test is that no collection of saliva is required so in the earlier test we had discussed before we have taken the saliva sample but here we are not using saliva sample so that's an important point asked for mcqs now since there is no collection of saliva sample it is particularly useful in young children for evaluating their caries activity now moving on to the principle of the test now the principle of the test is to estimate the ability of salivary microorganisms to form organic acids so this principle is exactly same as that of snyder test which have been discussed before okay now moving on to the procedure how is this procedure different earlier every time we did a test we actually collected saliva using paraffin but here how we do this test is that you take a cotton applicator and using the cotton applicator you swab the buccal surface of teeth this is done to obtain a sample of the oral flora and then this is incubated in a medium and then it is incubated for about 48 hours so here the procedure is you swab the buccal surface of teeth and then incubate it in the medium for 48 hours the change in ph is read using a ph meter now from this procedure the value we got is been connected to the caries activity so here the ph of less than or equal to 4.1 would indicate marked caries activity now when the ph is 4.2 to 4.4 it is active and if the ph is between 4.5 and 4.6 it is slightly active and when the ph becomes more than 4.6 it becomes caries inactive okay so that's what you have got from this table now we will move on to the advantages there are two main advantages for this swab test here first advantage we have already discussed is that there is no requirement of collection of a saliva sample the other advantage is that it can predict the caries increment especially in young children with little or no previous caries experience okay so that's all about swab test so two things you have to remember here is that it is a valuable test used in young children for evaluating caries activity the other thing is that no collection of saliva is required here so that's all hope you have liked the video for more such videos like share and subscribe thank you